Now we're going to apply these composition functions. If you've ever gone to Kohl's, you know Kohl's offers two types of coupons. They offer a percentage off and they offer what they call Kohl's cash, which is like just free cash, like a coupon, like $20 off, $10 off. Um, you can use these coupons together at the same time, but their computer system has a function, which is just an equation built into it, that will always take one of those first, either the percent or the cash off first, no matter which one you submit to the cashier first. We are going to explore both, and I will tell you which one they actually use. All right, so let's pretend you have a 20% coupon off your entire order, and you have $20 off your entire order. Uh, let's make an equation for the 20% off. So if we want to, we'll just call that f of x. So if we have a total bill of x, we have to minus the 0.20 of the final bill. That's how, that's how you take a percentage off. You take total minus 20% of the total. Well, simplified, this is a 1 minus 0.2, which is really just a 0.8x. So this is for the 20% off coupon. Now for the $20 off. You take your total and you simply take away $20. That one's a lot easier. You just subtract $20 off your final bill. Now we're going to make a composition function. We'll call this one h of x. We used f, g, and now we're on to h. We want to take the 20% off first and then the $20 off. Using our notation, that means they put the, okay, 20% off first. That means they put the f equation into the g equation. So they took the percent equation into the cash off equation. So that's going to be h of x equals. We're going to take the g equation, which was x minus 20, but instead of x minus 20, we're going to take this f equation and put it in for this x. So we're going to take this, I'm pointing at it, this 0.8 equation, and plug it in for that x. That doesn't simplify, so this is if I apply the 20% first, then the minus $20. That's the, that is the equation the computer system would have. Now we're going to make another composition function. We'll call it k of x. It's going to take the $20 off first and then apply the 20%. Using our notation, the $20, that's going to be it takes the g equation and it puts it into the f equation. So does everybody see that x right there? This x, this one that I'm pointing at right here with my yellow marker, this x is going to go away and it's going to be replaced with this blue, where I'm pointing with the blue marker. Okay? So let's write that. We're going to take the 0.8, but instead of writing 0.8x, it's going to be 0.8 of x minus 20. Okay? Now we're going to figure out the computer system, which one of these two is inside of it. Remember, stores always want to save themselves money, not give the customer money. We're going to take those two equations, and let's pretend you have $150 worth in your shopping cart, and you want to buy all $150 worth of that merchandise. You're going to plug $150 into both of your equations, and we will figure out which one you think the store is going to do. So the 20% off and then the $20 off. That was the first one we did. That's the H equation. So we're going to plug in 150. So the H equation was 0.8 times X. In our case, we're pretending we have $150 minus 20. Grab calculators, 0.8 times 150 minus 20. Your total bill will be $100. Now, Let's do the $20 off first. That's this K equation. So we're going to plug in our $150. We go up to the cashier. We have $150 worth of stuff. They scan it. The computer system runs its coupons, and we do 0 0.8 times 150 minus 20. Let's see how much we're going to actually have to pay. We won't pay all 150. So 0 0.8 times 150, what was it? Minus 20. 104. So it's not going to be the same thing. And I guarantee you, and I've asked the people at Kohl's because I've always kind of wondered, because I'm a nerd, um, which one they actually do. And yeah, it is very, very, very true. 
they will always do the cash off first and then the percentage off because it will always give them more money.